A very good evening. This is Abigail R. Karmalim bringing to you the station news across the globe. On 24 to 26 September, Don Bosco International had the pleasure to attend the symposium on young people, democracy and climate action organized by the Youth Partnership of the European Union EU and Council of Europe COE at the European Youth Centre in Strasbourg, France. As sustainability and climate crisis are key priorities for young people, the EU and COE Youth Partnership has been exploring this topic through research on youth climate activism and sustainability in the context of learning mobility as described in the Youth Knowledge Book, page 31 on Young People and Democracy in the Climate Crisis 2024, which was launched during the final day. More than 100 participants from the European youth field, including young people, policymakers, youth workers and youth researchers, discuss youth engagement in the context of climate crisis, exploring the main emerging priorities, challenges and innovative responses. The 32nd National Salation Youth Games were held during the weekend of 21st to 22nd September, hosted by SL Salos Corona Puwashka. The sports event was attended by over 750 young athletes from all over Poland from the local associations of the Salos, Salesian Sports Organization in the Polish Republic, Salos RP. The event took place under the honorary patronage of Andrzej Nowakowski, president of the city of Puwaszka, while the opening ceremony was conducted by sports commentator Shemislav Babiash. The Olympic torch was lit by a handball player and the coach of the goalkeepers of the Orlen Wisla Puashka team, Marcin Vichuri. Father Tadeusz Jaraki, superior of the province of Poland Warsaw PLE, imparted his blessing. The athletes face each other in four sports basketball, football, volleyball, and table tennis. On 28 September, the St. Joseph Festive Oratory was held at the Esperanca do Futuro Educational Centre in the Beira Rio district of Recente. Present for the occasion were Salesians, young people from the Salesian Youth Movement, Salesian cooperators and members of the Association of Mary Help of Christians, ADMA. This oratory marked the beginning of a project that aims to provide a welcoming space where education, faith and fun go hand in hand. The St. Joseph Oratory came into being through the commitment to also be a place of encounter and formation for families, uniting generations around the same purpose to build a more just and supportive future. The Don Bosco Technical Commission continues to be a driving force in vocational education, producing over 30,000 qualified workers per year. It is the largest private organization in India after the government in this field. This impressive feat was achieved thanks to the combined efforts of the Slation Technical Institute ITI and the short-term courses offered by DB Tech. To strengthen and advance this mission, heads of technical centres across India gathered in Mumbai from 27 to 30 September for intensive study, reflection and strategic planning. The event was attended by a total of 33 people including 27 ITI managers and several institutional managers. The meeting hosted by the Slation Province of Mumbai, India, was led by Father George Matthew under the guidance of Father Davis Mani Paramben John, superior of the province of New Delhi. In the early days of the event, participants took part in in-depth sessions and visits such as those to the renowned Don Bosco Technical Centre in Kurla, a centre of excellence that offers a diverse range of courses and to the Goodrich Production Centre. As part of the animation visit he is making to the Salesian province of Ecuador, Father Ricardo Campoli, a member of the social communication sector at Salesian headquarters and reference person for the Inter-America and America South Cone regions, greeted the Provincial Council on Wednesday, 2nd October. Later, he held a meeting with members of the Provincial Commission for Social Communication, CICS, and the Publishers Coordination Group. Father Campoli spoke of the importance of the Provincial Social Communication Plan, PICS, in pastoral activity. In the following days, Father Campoli was involved in a zone meeting of young communicators held in Quito together with Father Marcelo Farfan, ECU Provincial. 
representatives of the Salesian Don Bosco de la Kennedy Technical School and the Salesian Cardinal Spellman Education Units and Don Bosco La Tola shared their work in communication and actively participated in this animation and formation event. Father Campoli shared his vocational experience and highlighted the importance of the communication network in America, also giving valuable advice on how to strengthen their communication work. So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Till we meet again, thank you for joining us.